Expert uh, Kevin Ugutu is following up on these developments. He now joins us live for an update. Kevin, good morning. What more can you tell us? Well, a very good morning, Michelle. We are right here in Kisumu for this, uh, the first uh, conference, national uh, county conference of its kind. I remember you're talking about the East, um, Central and Southern Africa College of Nursing, uh, which is a professional body that brings together the nurses and midwives from uh, a record 16 countries in the East, Central and Southern Africa region. And uh, this is uh, a professional body that was set up way back in 1990. And this is the country chapter of this particular conference that's kicking off in Kisumu, the very first of its kind. Ordinarily, uh, this particular conference is done uh, for the entire region um, after every two years. But uh, this is a break from that tradition, and we're having uh, this uh, one for the first time, whereby we only have Kenya uh, holding this particular conference. That... Uh, <laughs> has got a number of themes, uh, among them being uh, the human rights and practice of nursing and midwifery. And uh, most importantly, we also have universal access to health care, and uh, including uh, uh, the access, to the, the, the rights of uh, the, the, the se uh, sexual and reproductive health rights. And, um, and then we also have the implementation of the UHC in Kenya. Remember, uh, this is Kisumu County, which is one of the counties uh, where we have got the implementation of the UHC. Uh, that is, of course, together with the Machakos, uh, Isiolo, and, uh, and Nyeri. So here we are waiting for the chief guest here to uh, make an appearance, but all is set for this particular conference uh, that will look into the themes that I've highlighted above. And uh, uh, talking about this particular conference, that the first of its kind, I'm lucky enough uh, to be with uh, one uh, Frederick Omir, who is uh, the country representative of Exacon. And welcome to KTN News. Uh, and uh, and uh, of course, uh, it's good to have you on board. And we are having a, uh, this particular conference at a time that we're talking about human rights uh, of uh, health workers and practitioners. We also have the issues of um, human resource and how to go about really realizing UHC. Now, in the context of all this that's happening, probably you can give us, uh, take us uh, through what uh, these particular discussions will entail and what really should come out of uh, these particular discussions, Frederick. Yeah, yeah thank you, Ogutu. Um, my name is Omiya. Yes, as you've been told, I'm the country national representative for Exacon, Kenya chapter. And we are delighted that we are here in Kisumu. We are having the first um, national scientific conference for the Kenyan chapter. And this is happening at the time when we are celebrating the week when Exacon was inaugurated 29 years ago, way back in 1990 in Malawi. Now, precisely this conference is focusing on uh, the global campaign dubbed the Nursing Now campaign and also the universal health coverage. Now these are two important themes that have been uh, intertwined into the theme that we'll be discussing today and tomorrow. And why these themes? Uh, one is because um, next year around May the whole world will be celebrating 200 years uh, since Florence Nightingale was born. And we all remember that uh, Florence Nightingale is a pioneer of the modern nursing, as we know it. And uh, this year, during the World Health Assembly, uh, the Director General for WHO uh, committed 2020 as the year of the nurse. And so, as Kenyan nurses and midwives, um, we are looking at the Global Nursing Now campaign in the context of what is the role of the nurse, what has the nurse contributed, or what can the nurse contribute. And we're looking at the universal health coverage, again, which is a global clarion for ensuring that uh, health is available to the populations, especially in developing and in developed, uh, least developed countries. Yes. <clears throat> I'm talking about um, <clears throat> UHC and um, nursing and midwifery, we have these particular health providers yes. at the core of UHC. Yes. We cannot talk about UHC without the mention of nurses. Absolutely. Just uh, what do you think, the kind of input that needs to be put to ensure that we match 
um, the realization of USC versus the requirements, the demands that the nursing fraternity and the midwifery ask from the uh, government. Very good. Um, you know, for us to be able to realize USC adequately and uh, competently and to be able to make sure that services are available to the Kenyans, number one, in this country we have a challenge of workforce. Um, in a number of counties, we don't have the matching numbers to the population as recommended by WHO. Uh, so one of the appeals we would want to put across to our counties and to the national government is that we need to um, engage more nurses and midwives who are found at all levels, right from the community level all the way to the referral facilities. So if you have the right numbers, then you are able to provide services seamlessly. Seamlessly, uh, patients don't have to wait to be served because you have a small number. And then number two, we also need to train the nurses and, uh, and the midwives in specialty areas. One of the good things that has happened in this country under the devolved uh, arrangement is that now we have uh, specialized services that have been brought very low at the sub-county and county referral hospitals. Now, these specialty areas require special skills. For example, in most of the county referral hospitals, you find you have a renal dialysis center. Now, you need to train nurses and midwives in uh, nephrology. We have uh, modern theaters now. Um, and you need to train nurses in, in theater nursing. We have uh, critical care units, ICU. You need to train nurses in critical care, um, and so on and so forth. So the government, again, also needs to engage, and it needs to invest more in developing skills so that UHC can be a reality. How big of a problem is this uh, matter of uh, specialized nursing? Do we, how, how big is that gap as we speak right now? Um, I think we still have a long way to go. Uh, it, we have few training centers that are able to train specialized nurses. Um, I'm aware Kenya Medical Training College is training um, theater nurses, and I think they have uh, two or three centers where they train, and you can only train a limited number, about 20 nurses a class. So if you have like uh, two training centers you're talking of, you're producing about uh, 30 to 40 nurses a year vis-a-vis -vis 47 counties. <laughs> well, well, uh, that is a discussion that surely we'll have to continue with. And that was uh, uh, Frederick Omea trying to break down for us what this particular conference, the very first of its kind, that is a country conference, are being held uh, in Kenya, right here in Kisumu, and uh, he has emphasized uh, the need for uh, Kenya, and not just Kenya, in fact, uh, the entire region, the entire, the entire continent, to really look into the matter of having nurses who have specialized in various uh, subfields. And that is uh, where we wrap it, of course, any moment from now, we will be having this particular conference kicking off in earnest. As we mentioned, we have uh, Vihiga Governor Wilbur Otichilo, who will be officially opening this two-day conference that brings on board various stakeholders in matters health, representatives from both the county and the national governments for 